Our first news is about San Si Folks Art. According to Sina.com.cn, on the 14th of February, the city of Baoji hosted their very own cultural heritage style tourism during the New Year Festival. Different popular arts and crafts like clay sculptures, martial masks and shadow puppets were on show with the theme of, yep, you guessed it, snakes. This event was very special as tourists who came actually had to venture into the homes of the people who made the art, giving it a very down-to-earth feel. One of the main attractions at this event was clay structures, as they represent a great deal of cultural identity and historical value in China. One man here who has been making clay structures his whole life is 80-year-old Master Hu. Master Hu has a special but simple recipe for his art, always bring a new and fresh outlook and to work from his heart. His newest piece is this one of a cobra, and as you can tell, he seems to be stoked by the way it has turned out. The combinations of the colors as well as the fact that they are handmade make these pieces very unique, and it wasn't a surprise that many people visited his house over the day and his work sold like hotcakes. Another popular item was the martial masks. These martial masks are predominantly made to match the face of animals, the 12 iconic Chinese animals to be exact, and are drawn in a caricature style with exaggerated features and colors. These masks aren't one to be worn at any parties, but are placed behind the back door of your house to ward away any evil spirits. Like the clay structure, these masks have a long history behind them, and it was because these masks were on show that made this a very successful destination for tourists during this holiday. As crazy as it sounds, that Besides scenic areas, snacks are a very influential reason for choosing a travel destination. Shanxi.gov.cn has reported that the city of Xi'an has ranked first out of 23 eligible cities as the city with the best snacks or small meals in the country. Xiaochi or snacks is a very popular way of eating in China. These snacks are small meals that can be found along the street or in markets. The food varies among different places but usually consists of a wide variety of small portion meals like barbecued food on a stick or small bowls of different noodles and rice dishes or dumplings. Xiaochi is also great for the sweet tooth fans as you'll be able to find some great desserts. The most popular Xi'an snacks such as Liang Pi, Ru Jia Mo, Shi Zi Bing, Guan Tang Bao are all must eats for the tourists. Okay, next up, let's take a look at what's making headlines in Shanxi News. The Shanxi Tourism Board has reported that a total of 14,629,200 people came to the province over the Spring Festival, which is an increase of 1.41% compared to last year. The people who came, foreign or domestic, didn't have a problem spending money either, as a total tourism income reached 6.29 billion yuan. The Chinese New Year numbers are in, and it is revealed that Xi'an has ranked among the top 10 cities in the country as a tourist destination for Spring Festival. There was a significant push for tourism over Spring Festival in Xi'an, as the city had prepared around 42 activities overall, including temple fairs, carnivals, and performing arts, among others, which is why it was such a hit among tourists. On the evening of February 17th, people from all around the city gathered in the Guanrong Temple in Xi'an to light candles to bring prosperity into the new year. The scene was set as over 100,000 candles got lit, and many patterns like the shapes of animals or words were created by the candles to make an unforgettable night to cap off the new year. Well, that's it for today. I hope everyone had a good New Year festival. If you've enjoyed our show, remember to catch us every day here on Blue Ocean Network. For more information, please visit bon.tv. I'm Aaron Stadenrobi. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.